Here I've got a nice and quick which is larger question. We're going to use a nice trick to solve this. So the two numbers we're looking at are 1 over 2021 to the 2022 power versus 1 over 2022 to the 2021 power. So I think it's a classic time of year to be doing these kinds of problems, given that 2021 is about to end and 2022 is about to start. So first off, I'm going to set this top one equal to A and this bottom one equal to B just for ease of notational use. And we'll compare these by looking at their quotient and determining if their quotient is bigger than or less than 1. And we'll look at it in the form of A over B. So if this is bigger than 1, then A is bigger than B. But if this is less than 1, then B is bigger than A. So now keeping in mind the arithmetic of rational numbers, after doing a bit of simplification, we end up with 2022 over 2021 to the 2021 power times one over 2021. So I smashed some things together when I took this quotient. But now I'll take this 2022 and write it as 1 plus 2021. That allows us to rewrite this as 1 plus 1 over 2021 to the 2021 times 1 over 2021. But now this looks like a binomial that could be expanded. Think about this as like 1 plus x to the n power. So let's maybe recall the binomial expansion formula over here. So the expansion of 1 plus x to the n is the sum as k goes from 0 to n of n choose k times x to the k, where n choose k is this binomial coefficient given by n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. So that's what we'll use right here. So before I do that, I'll bring this 1 over 2021 out front, and then I'll have the sum as k goes from 0 up to 2021 in this case, and then I'll have 2021 choose k, and then x to the k here will be 1 over 2021 to the k. Now we look at this and some things jump out. Notice that this binomial coefficient is definitely less than 2021 factorial, given that 2021 factorial is occurring in the numerator. But now let's take the term from this sum and do a bit of an inequality on it so we can get a handle on its size. So we have 2021 choose k times 1 over 2021 to the k power. So this is 2021 times 2020 all the way down to 2021 minus k plus 1. So there are k terms in the numerator. And that's gotten by canceling this n minus k factorial with this n factorial in the numerator. And then in the denominator, we have 2021 to the k times k factorial. So the k factorial comes from the binomial coefficient. The 2021 comes from that 2021. But now this is less than or equal to where the strict inequality occurs for most values of k than what we have if everything in the numerator is replaced with 2021. But there are exactly k things in the numerator. So if I replace all of them, I have 2021 to the k over 2021 to the k times k factorial. But that makes this less than or equal to 1 over k factorial. Where now we can see this inequality right here is strict if k is bigger than or equal to 2. Okay, so now this is good to see because we can take every term in this sum and replace it with 1 over k factorial. So let's just do that. So this is going to be less than or equal to 1 over 2021 times the sum as k goes from 0 up to 2021 of 1 over k factorial. Now I'll take this finite sum, which ends at 2021, and I'll replace it with an infinite sum that never ends. 
that will clearly be larger because it contains infinitely many more terms. So that means our object is less than or equal to one over 2021 times the sum as k goes from zero up to infinity of one over k factorial. But now looking at this, that's a sum of a well-known number, Euler's number, in fact. So this is equal to E over 2021. But let's recall that E is approximately equal to 2.718. But if we have 2.718 in the numerator and 2021 in the denominator, then that is clearly less than one. But if that's less than one, that means A is less than B. But now going over here to our definition of A and B, we see that B is larger. So one over 2022 to the 2021 is larger than one over 2021 to the 2022. And that's a good place to stop.